Welcome to this tutorial on setting up Gmail AMAP. We will guide you through the steps to configure Gmail AMAP settings for popular email clients such as Microsoft Outlook. Now, we understand that some of you may still enjoy using traditional email clients, whether it's a personal preference or a requirement set by your employer. That's where AMAP comes in, making your life easier by seamlessly syncing your emails across multiple devices. To begin, open Gmail, click on the cog icon, then all settings, and navigate to Gmail's forwarding and pop AMAP page. Scroll down until you reach the section titled AMAP settings. Here, you'll find an option to enable it. Once you've enabled it, you'll notice that new options appear on the screen. However, for now, you don't need to change any of these settings. Simply save the changes to proceed. Now, it's time to configure your email client to access your Gmail account. For the incoming mail server, use amap.gmail.com. Make sure to enable SSL for secure sockets layer and set the port to 993. As for the outgoing mail server called SMTP, use smtp.gmail.com. Again, enable SSL and, if available, TLS for transport layer security. The recommended port for SSL is 465, while the port for TLS is 587. When filling in your personal details, you can enter your full name or display name as you would like it to appear on outgoing emails. For the account name, username, or email address, enter your full Gmail email address. And, of course, don't forget to enter your Gmail password. If you have two-factor authentication enabled on your Gmail account, Providing your regular password to the email client will not work. In this case, you need to generate an application-specific password within the security section of your Google account. This will ensure a secure connection between your email client and Gmail. To get one, click on your profile image, then manage your account and type app passwords in the search bar. Drop down the menu, select mail and select a device. Click generate and copy the password. Go back to the account settings of your email provider and enter the password given into the password field. We hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you have any further questions or need additional assistance, please feel free to ask. Thank you for watching.